Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's gotta be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorian. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. So can I guess this will add to your resentment against aliens? Resentment? Against aliens? I mean, I'm not... <laughs> what makes you think that? I think you'd carry a grudge over the crap you took from Vernus. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. It was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. I'm glad to hear the bastard got what he deserved. He didn't deserve... He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do. Just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. Kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon. Right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. Like I said, he deserved it. It killed him, Shepard. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. I want to know you're on our side, whatever needs to be done. Commander, I thought real hard about how to use my talents. When I swore the oath to defend the Alliance, it wasn't on a whim. If it comes down to it, I am a soldier. I have to believe that my superiors can tell our enemies from people who disagree with us. If the Alliance is missing its chance, it's because of men like Udina, not the rest of the galaxy holding us back. Of course, your opinion is the one that matters, Commander. Lieutenant, I believe we need to get you a posting in recruitment. Sorry. I have some strong feelings on the subject. I should return to my duties now. Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I'm off duty until tomorrow. I was gonna have a small drink. Bit of a celebration. If you're interested. What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. Don't tell me you're blamed for that. Not formally. Dad got passed for promotion over and over. And I think my record merits more than garrison duty on a backwater agri-colony. 
It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Would it make a difference? He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? You're a valuable part of my crew, Williams. If I want an opinion from the head, I go to Elenko. When I want one from the heart, I go to you. I also play a mean game of pool. But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Well, they know about the stonewalling you've had from the Council. They deserve to know what we're up against. They're on your side. They're pissed about the resistance we're getting, especially from our side. I'll have a better handle on all of it when my head stops hurting. Another L2 flare up. Ever thought about going back under the knife? Maybe get an upgrade? No thanks, Commander. One slip and you can't remember your own name. The L2s spike higher anyway. My abilities would drop with pain-free L3s. That'd be a cold day before I turn myself over to a Kinetic subsidiary. I haven't heard anything about Kinetics in a while. Yeah, they quietly disappeared. Broke up into a bunch of little corps after they botched the training on Jump Zero. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts, instead of taking it slow. The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. The Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. Hell, it took a couple of years to even link Biotics and Ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. Get your knuckles wrapped a few times, Lieutenant? Yeah, you could say that. Our instructor was a Turian by the name of Commander Vernus. A real hard ass. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn out a decent biotic. Kind of spiraled from there, Commander. Well, you're a hell of a biotic, though. He must have done something, right? Well, I got to where I am because I took initiative. Good or bad, I own that. Pretty much despite kinetics. Anyway, this is ancient stuff. I walked it off a long time ago. I should... Commander, are you coming to check up on me? I just want to talk. Of course. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's no innocent victim. He was a ruthless bastard long before he fell under Sovereign's control. I know his reputation, but he was a Spectre. I think he honestly believed everything he did was for the greater good. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. So you saw us as some kind of joke? As I said, I was ignorant about your species. But I have been watching you and your crew. I feel as if I have learned a great deal. 
You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're basically saying we bully other people to get our way. Unfortunately, that is how most of the galaxy sees you. I understand why they think that way, though I don't necessarily agree with them. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I don't care what the rest of the galaxy thinks about us. But you should. The Council made you a Spectre because of what they saw in you. You are special, Commander. You represent the best of what humanity can offer. I looked into your history. I know what happened on Akuz. The fact that you survive shows a remarkable strength. Now you're digging into my past? Invading my privacy? I am sorry. I know it was wrong, but after our last conversation, I was too embarrassed to approach you directly. I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. You're interested in me because of my visions. You just want to know more about the Protheans. I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. How could you and I have a relationship? We're not even the same species. Asari and humans are physiologically compatible in most ways, Commander. Of course a relationship must involve more than mere physical contact. There must also be an emotional and spiritual connection between us. Our species may be different, but there are many things we could share. But none of this matters if you are already involved in a serious relationship with Chief Williams. I care about Ash. A lot. I thought so. Still, I feel as if there is also some attraction between us, Shepard. You're right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. Quit thinking like a scientist. Logic doesn't work when it comes to relationships. Just let yourself get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. Don't tell me a little danger puts you off. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... let's just talk about something else for now. I should go. Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? I'm not sure I believe it either. It's better to have her where we can see her. That makes sense. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time... off the record. It's not normal for an enlisted to speak informally with the commander. I figured since the crew was so small, you might be more permissive. I mean, that helmsman of yours. Most places, he'd be at Captain's Mast every day. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but, uh, I'm... I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? You don't trust their motives because they're not human. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons... Share your concerns, Chief, but I'm under orders. Under orders to let aliens gather military intelligence? I can't believe that was the Alliance's intention. We... humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. I trust that's not insubordination, I hear. No, ma'am. That's patriotism. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. Yeah, the council's had a grudge against us since the first contact war. I don't think it's a grudge. I think it's... Look, 
If you're fighting a bear, and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. This is an Alliance warship, not the Parliament floor. If you're Earth first, vote for the Terra Firma party. Terra Firma is a pack of jackals. The Founders had ideals. These days they just play off xenophobia and bigotry. I hope my reasons are more rational. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. I never knew my family. Grew up an orphan on Earth. Anybody in your family I'd have heard of? Couldn't say, Commander. So why are you out here? Just trying to get away from Earth? I'm here to put hypervelocity rounds through the heads of bad guys. Most satisfying part of the job, Commander. I never knew my family. Grew up an orphan on Earth. Anybody in your family I'd have heard of? Couldn't say, Commander. So why are you out here? Just trying to get away from Earth? Earth's seen better days. Lots of pollution, too many people. People are trying to fix it, but... But right now, it's not the best place to be. I guess without a family, you had no reason to stay. I never knew my family. Grew up an orphan on Earth. Anybody in your family I'd have heard of? Couldn't say, Commander. So why are you out here? Just trying to get away from Earth? Mainly I wanted to serve. Protect the Alliance. Save lives. You know? Glad to hear it. I'd hate to think you were out here for a free college education. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, ma'am. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the surface garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. Guess you make a habit of second-guessing your superiors. I... no, ma'am. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, ma'am. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the surface garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. That's odd. Your record is spotless and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. I expect you to keep your family politics to yourself, Chief. This mission will be difficult enough without you picking fights with aliens. Aye, aye, Commander. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am? Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time... off the record. Is this duty-related, Chief? No, ma'am. Well, maybe. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but, uh, I'm... I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? Don't mince words, Chief. What's your concern? This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons... I'm not gonna lock them in sleeper pods for the whole trip, Williams. I'd be more comfortable if they didn't have access to engineering and the CIC. We... humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. How do you get from relying on ourselves to mistreating our allies? I don't mean we should mistreat them, Commander. I just think we should be prepared to go it without them. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. I don't see that as inevitable. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. You sound like one of those Terra Firma party pamphlets, Chief. Terra Firma is a pack of jackals. The Founders had ideals. These days they just play off xenophobia and bigotry. I hope my reasons are more rational. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. All right, I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams, but this is a multilateral mission. You're gonna have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Turian, I'll ask which cheek. I'm glad there won't be a problem. Anything else you need, Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? 
Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? Not everyone has a happy family life. No, I guess not. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Do you have some time to talk now, Commander? Let's hear it, Lieutenant. I'm always open to my officers. We've played it pretty close to the book so far, but we're a long way from backup. We've got some tough calls to make. I'm just saying, try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen to you, Shepard. Commander. This a personal observation, Caden? I, uh, I, I don't want to step on anyone else's toes, especially if you're a... If I have misread your interests. I don't think you should be prying into my affairs. There's my answer, then. I'm sorry to have bothered you, Commander. I got some mixed signals. With your permission, I should return to my duties. some time to talk now, Commander. Let's hear it, Lieutenant. I'm always open to my officers. We've played it pretty close to the book so far, but we're a long way from backup. We've got some tough calls to make. I'm just saying, try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen to you, Shepard. Commander. This is a personal observation, Caden? I, uh, I, I don't want to step on anyone else's toes, especially if you're a if I have misread your interests. Someone? You're referring to our young Prothean expert. <laughs> I think she's older than both of us put together, but uh, yeah. There's a lower deck rumor that she's uh, interested in you. It's more than a source of Prothean data. She's a very interesting lady, to my uh, tastes, but uh, I never claim to be big on alien culture. My relationship with Dr. Tassoni is professional. All right, only a rumor. But you don't have to spend your off-duty time with me. Not if you don't want to. Look, there's nothing between Liara and me. What's the real issue here, Caden? You're right, sorry. It wasn't, uh... Liara's not my main concern. I'm not questioning any decision you've made, Shepard. Let me be clear about that. It's just my experience that once someone lets something slide, it tends to pick up speed. You get my meaning? Talk to me, Caden. You got a little black rain cloud sitting over your head. I'll try to keep the deck dry. You know the records about the biotic training out on Jump Zero? They're all classified. Because the Alliance made mistakes. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. To introduce himself, he liked to say, I was at the helm of the Dreadnought that killed your father. Well, I told him my dad wasn't in the war. He'd retired to Vancouver. My family had an inland home that matured to New Beachfront. Burnus had it in for me after that. He cut corners, pushed hard. I mean, you either came out a Superman or a wreck. A lot of kids snapped. A few died. The point of all of this, I guess, is that when you cut corners, it's not always obvious who pays for it. So why are you telling me this? Is there something I can do to help you get over it? I'm 32, Shepard. You don't serve as long as I have without coming to terms with yourself. You also learn that if someone is special to you, you help them. Try to keep them from making mistakes. So you think you have leave to talk like we're more than officers? I got some signals. Maybe some static, too, I guess. If I'm out of line, just say the word. 
Now isn't the ideal time. But I want to talk about this, Caden. I get you, Shepard. I don't make a habit of complicating the chain of command. Just think about what I said. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. Has your opinion changed at all? It has. I have been watching you and your crew. It has taught me a lot about your species. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You can't argue with results. No, but there are consequences. Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as a bully. You run over anyone who gets in your way. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I don't care what the rest of the galaxy thinks about us. But you should. The Council made you a Spectre because of what they saw in you. You are special, Commander. You represent the best of what humanity can offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did on Torfin. I cannot even imagine how horrible that must have been, but you did what had to be done. Now you're digging into my past, invading my privacy. I am sorry. I know it was wrong, but after our last conversation, I was too embarrassed to approach you directly. I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you, to understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. You're interested in me because of my visions. You just want to know more about the Protheans. I admit. Your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest, but it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard, but I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Lieutenant Elenko. My relationships are none of your business. I apologize, Commander. I did not mean to pry. I thought there was a mutual attraction between us. Obviously, I do not know as much about human relationships as I thought. Obviously. This is very embarrassing for me, Commander. Please, let's talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Commander.